My name is Mark Mutahi. I'm Country Director, Up Energy Uganda Limited. Mark, what does Up Energy do? Up Energy is a distribution company that sells clean energy solutions, including solar lanterns, water filters, and clean cook stoves to the rural communities in Uganda. And your primary product is cook stoves. What's the cost of those cook stoves for your community? The main cook stove we carry right now costs between $20 to $22, depending on the exchange rate. But we also have a cook stove that goes up to $100. And what does that $100 cook stove do? The $100 cook stove actually has the ability to use a firewood stove, but it can also charge mobile phones, and it also has an LED lantern attached to it. And why are people buying these stoves? You know, perfectly good, free set of three slabs of stone and whatever. Why, why buy something that costs $20? The stoves we sell have a variety of benefits, but ideally they improve uh, on your fuel savings because they use less firewood. They, they have less smoke, meaning they prevent respiratory diseases, and they also cook faster. People buy them for those benefits, but also people buy them because they like the stove. You were saying earlier that people too also buy them because they are to some greater or lesser extent aspirational. Yes, people buy our products because they're also an aspirational good. The, the, the cook stoves that we distribute are imported, and a lot of people in these communities have never seen them before. People buy them because they're a symbol of an advanced level of education and awareness about the benefits of using a cleaner technology. So if you're educated, you know about health benefits in a way that if you're less educated, you might not? Well, if you're educated and somebody comes up to you and provides you the product that actually has benefits to your family because it has less firewood, you can make the relationship between less smoke and healthier breathing. So, you recently um, raised capital in the market for the company. Yes, we have. Tell me the business model of the company. So the business model of the company traditionally was carbon finance based. So what we do was we take products that have carbon finance as an additional revenue stream on the back end, sell them to consumers at a subsidized price. And explain carbon finance. Essentially, you're, you're selling the benefit of somebody using less carbon. Yes. So very simply, from the usage of the product, because you have less emissions from using less firewood, we're able to quantify quantify the benefit of that and we, we sell those offsets on to utility companies and foreign governments. And what's the change and the transition that will happen in the company as it goes forward? You, you'll be using less of that? Well, the big transition that's happening right now is tied to what's been happening in the carbon markets. One is the price of carbon has, has fallen off a cliff in the last two years. And so we've been trying to lower and lower that subsidy. But also, we recognize that selling products at a subsidized price is just not sustainable. So not only are we trying to rely less and less on carbon, we're also trying to create a market where people are buying products at the actual cost plus unit price. And is there a um, focus on selling these kind of stoves in the same way that there is with solar lighting and, and the Lighting Africa initiative? Ideally, that's what we'd want. We're not there yet. Uh, there's a lot of organizations, uh, the World Bank, uh, the Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves, the Uganda National Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves, that's trying to get the awareness to the extent that Lighting Africa has. And we're working towards that. We're not there yet, but the effort is happening. And indeed, the goal is for us to be able to sell to that scale. What sort of impact would an import tax concession have on the cost of the stove? Oh, in, in Uganda, if, you, if I use Uganda as an example, we pay about 49% on the cost of these stoves. This makes it very challenging for more players to come into this market. And that's where carbon finance gives us a leg up. Now, with what's happening in carbon finance business, in the carbon finance markets, if you have to depend less and less on carbon, it makes these products more and more difficult to buy. If we had an import concession on taxes, that would lower the product, meaning we can get more products to the people that need them the most and when the rural communities, because we can sell them cheaper. So my name is Sylvain Romieux. I work as Global Innovation Manager for Up Energy. And how many people use firewood in stoves in Uganda? So 6 million households in Uganda use firewood every day to cook. And that's 70% Ugandans. And of those, how many are using um, firewood or charcoal? Um, so about 25% Ugandans use charcoal and 70% use firewood. So the vast majority uses firewood and a m strong minority urban generally uses charcoal. And of those people, are they are the people who collect uh, using firewood? Are they collecting firewood, or are they paying for it? So two thirds collect firewood, and one third buys firewood. So the economic advantages, mm -hmm. how do you quantify those? So we look at how much people would spend before they buy our, our energy efficient stoves, and how much they would spend after they buy that, they buy that. We find that Ugandans save six dollars per month, seventy two dollars per year by once they have bought our stoves. Yeah. So in terms of time, we find that our customers save about three hours, both from collecting firewood and from 
cooking faster. Um, and, and all our customers or all our end users are women. Um, so it really impacts women a lot. Who's making the purchase choice? Is it the, the man of the household or the woman of the household? So again, in thirds, we find that two thirds of our buyers are men, but 100% of our end users are women. Um, so although men generally take that decision, women benefit most from it. Yeah. yeah. And how many stoves have you sold um, so far? So we've sold 25,000 stoves of which 21,000 were firewood stoves and 4,000 charcoal stoves, all energy efficient. And how many um, total products are you hoping to sell over the next two to three years? We're hoping to sell 60,000 products over the next three years.